All right, I am here today to talk about League of Legends, an awesome and popular um, game that is just going crazy right now. Um, I don't know, it's just a game that I'm starting to love, and I'm, I could probably say I'm addicted, but I'm just going to do a quick guide here to help some starters um, understand what's going on right now. Um, basically, on your League of Legends website, um, as if any game you find your easy, um, sign up. But you download your game, make it go to your desktop, easy pickings. From here, you will have your little icon. Double click, you get a nice logo in the middle for a little bit. And then, um, it'll usually have your update, um, rolling down here. That'll let you figure out, um, how long it'll take. Usually takes five, six minutes, something like that. After that's done, you're able to click play and start this awesome game. But uh, I'm not going to go into the gameplay today. Um, I'm just going to go into basics here. Gets you to your login. And then log in. Nice and epic music. It's always nice. Got sniffles from hot ramen. Put some awesome uh, red hot sauce on there. It actually is pretty damn good. Um, well, at the um, center point at the top here, you will easily see your play. That is when the game will get more intense. And instead of looking at the screen, you will actually be playing the game. Um, you can watch other players, which I have recommended to many starters, just because if you go over here and watch certain matches, these are all ranked teams, so they clearly know what they're doing. Um, it's easy to get tips and watch and kind of learn how they're playing the game and see. Um, you can learn from them and learn about different characters because there are so many champions in this game, it's ridiculous. Um, on your left, you have um, updates of what's going on. Um, that's the same with featured videos, that's more updates on what's going on. Um, like this one is just a season two um, championship finals. Um, it's pretty epic, I watched it with some buddies of mine. And it has featured items which you can buy at the store, which brings me up to here. Um, you have four little tabs here. First one being your store, has a nice little orange to it. Um, you have your profile, um, League of Legends lore, which I don't even think I've gone into, and then your help dialogue. And I guess your preferences, um, which isn't anything really all that important. Um, I will go into the store here. Um, usually when you start up your game, you start your profile, have your icon, um, all that fun stuff that gets you started with the game. Um, I'm going to see if I can get to the store here. There we go. Um, you have your home page that basically says what's new. Um, Mainly, I just go in here for uh, champions and runes. Um, you have your money up here. Um, you have your riot points and influence points. Um, influence points are really the only thing you're going to want to care about. Um, that's what you uh, earn from playing matches. Um, you get more by winning, but you still you just get some from playing the game. Riot points, however, you get from uh, spending actual money, which you more than likely don't want to do um, because it's just a game. You aren't getting too much um, good out of good out of it by spending actual money. Um, and your champions, you have a huge list of different champions, and it just goes on. But um, that basically shows how much it would be for ride points and influence points, and you can save them up and purchase them later on. Um, skins basically are um, different looks for your champions, which really doesn't do anything. Um, it just makes them look different on the battlefield. It doesn't help anything. I agree, it's just a waste of money. Same with themes, I believe. I'm actually not sure about themes, because that one's way more expensive than any skin, so I don't know. It might do something. I don't know about them. Um, otherwise, boost bundles and other zoos are just real money deals. Um, not all that important. Otherwise, you want to go with runes, um, which I will show you here in a second. But they just um, improve your stats. Um, as you can see, there's a bunch of different um, kinds, a um, whole list of them as well. Um, I guess I can go into that now. 
go into your profile it'll show your stat overview um, I'm not really sure why mine isn't popping up but um, it'll show a nice picture of yourself with your level um, first day of uh, first win of the day bonus that's always nice but uh, you have your match history which clearly shows me doing horrible which is surprising because I win like 65% of my matches but um, then your champions you're able to find out which ones you own which ones you don't own yada 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 the main thing I wanted to show is the rune page um, if you buy runes this is where you're able to put them you get um, different slots unlocked um, higher level you get and then you can buy um, runes and put them in here so um, once you purchase them you can put them in here and it'll improve your stats um, that do affect the game a little bit but it's really a really small amount um, like 2.7 percent on attack speed that's probably from two or three different runes that I have um, which it doesn't make a big difference at all two percent is nothing but it's still nice to have I mean take what you can get I suppose um, that's the same with the masteries there you also um, I usually uh, you can have as many of these as you want and I usually try to get them for different characters um, or different champions I should say um, but uh, for the most part um, you have points available for which uh, for your every time you level up and then you can put them into these different uh, attributes um, like there's your attack damage um, armor yada 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 um, I guess I can put one in here um, just because I kinda forgot about that but um, again those also really ain't a huge deal um, that just like goes up one attack damage which is really nothing but again take what you can get it's it'll be worth it in the end I suppose um, spells are um, used more for playing the actual game which I will show you kinda here right now um, I'm going in a player versus player mode um, which is kinda self explanatory there's only two maps um, unless you go to Dominion which is kinda like um, takeover bases and whatnot but most people just go to classic or they go to co-op versus AI which is same stuff but against the computer um, which I would probably recommend doing a little bit um, kinda makes it easier to win and easier to get influence points that way but you basically match with teammates and usually it takes about 30 seconds to find a match but uh, and they do can they can take up like 40 minutes these games can be long, quite long um, these are different champions that you can have I only have three character three champions Ezreal, Ramus, and Soraka um, the rest are all free. You get free champions every week, um, which is nice because then you're able to experience different um, champions and um, learn their abilities, and then you kind of know what you'll be facing when you go up against them later on. Um, uh, here is your rune pages um, and your masteries. Again, I had um, three of them um, just for the heck of it. Um, and you have your spells, which I showed earlier, you're able to choose two of them. They basically are just like helpful or helpful little helios that'll just uh, heal from out to nearby allied seals, minion healing. You know, there's just different stuff. I mean, people have many different uh, different choices on what they want to use. Um, some require certain levels, though. Um, but they can be very helpful. That's all I'm going to do for this video. So, so thanks for watching. Um, I hope this helps some of you beginners kind of understand what's around. Um, um, either way, again, thanks for watching. I hope it helped. And uh, have any questions, just leave a comment below. Uh, have a good one.